And today I'm on part three of my breaks. Uh, and in parts one and two, you'll have seen me make these components, uh, and that included the brake screw and the brake nut with the square thread, and the tiny square thread inside that tiny brake nut. I also did the crank, and I've also done the brake standard and all its components, which which are all here. So today then. I'm now going to move on to these components on the next page. So the brake shaft here is just a piece of stock material. That's simple to do. It's just a piece of half inch stock material which I've cut from this piece to make the brake shaft. And on the end of that brake shaft, well not on the ends but in, in various positions you've got the collars that stop the brake shaft moving inside the frame and then in the middle of that you've got this crank that I made in the last video that's got to be pinned into the brake shaft and then on the end of the brake shaft you'll have this bracket coming through with this brake arm attached to it on the end so I'm going to move over to to lay the milling machine now and make a start on doing these. I've got the brake support bracket completed and I've had to mill that recess in that face because I'm putting an angle straight through my loco for the foot plates to go straight through. I've had to form that bracket to fit round that angle underneath. I've got the brake shaft completed and all the relevant holes drilled in for the crank and for the for the collars and also off camera I've just been making this brake arm and this is just straightforward piece of rectangular stainless steel which I've cut from a piece of round stainless bar to give me that section which is half inch thick three quarter wide and it's inch and three quarter long it's just got two holes drilled in at one inch centers and in one of the holes there's a slot been milled, I've milled that slot and that's where the nut's going to fit in the brake arm like that. So I've had to get that done to do the next part which is to mark off where my brake standard's going to fit. So that's the brake shaft going into the frame. Then the, the support bracket is going to fit onto that brake shaft and be a snug fit on this angle line and the foot plate then the arms gonna fit onto that with this nut in the other side like that determine where the holes gonna be for this brake screw to come through to pick this nut up so after a bit of careful measuring, I've determined the holes for the 
fixing holes, the four fixing holes and the centre hole for the brake screw. And I'm about ready for drilling, drilling those now. I've got the actual support bracket clamped underneath the foot plate and I'm going to drill straight through into the support bracket and do everything in one operation. Okay, then that's it for this part. Then on part three, uh, that's the back, the rear of the brakes completed. Uh, so on I my mean next part, then I'll move on to the brake blocks, um, the crossbar, the brake hangers, and all those will be coupled up to this then, and that'll complete the brakes then. So uh, if you've not seen my other videos, take a look at them, and if not, I'll catch you on my next video. Thanks for watching then. Bye for now.